The formula of coefficient of variation is very simple. Standard deviation upon mean. And that is the reason why students never ask a question on why the formula is designed like this. The answer lies in understanding when it is used. You see, standard deviation has a limitation. For example, let's say there are two companies, a large company and a small company. A large company revenue over the last five years is, let's say $80 million, $100 million, $90, $110, 120 And the sales of the small company is $8 million, $10, 9, 11, and 12. If you calculate the standard deviation of each of these companies, the large company standard deviation will be 14.5 and the small company standard deviation will be 1.45. So when you look at standard deviation, it will look like that the small company variation in sales is less. The small company is less risky. But if you look at the numbers, you will realize that large company variation of sales was 80, 100, 90, 110. And in case of small company, it was 8, 10, 9, 11. In terms of percentage, the variation is exactly the same. But standard deviation does not capture that. So what do you do? Well, you take the standard deviation and you divide it with the mean. When you do that, the answer is nothing but coefficient of variation. And over there, you will realize that per unit of mean or per unit of sales, how much variation is happening. When you divide standard deviation with mean, you will realize that per unit of revenue, how much variation or the how much fluctuation is happening. And you will realize that in this case, whether it is a large company or the small company, the variation is the same. And that is the reason why coefficient of variation is calculated. No wonder standard deviation is divided by mean so that it can be brought on the comparable platform. Now, irrespective of the size of the company, you can compare both of them. Guess what? You can use this when you're investing. You could be comparing a s investment in a small cap stock versus a large cap stock. Over here, when you take the standard deviation of their returns, the risk divided by the returns, you will come to know per unit of return, how much risk are you taking? Of course, you will go for the choice where the risk is the lowest for every unit of return. No wonder coefficient of variation is the very helpful measure in finance.